Why, hello there, everybody, and welcome back for more Misclicks D&D Seaborn. On one side of your ship, crawling up, are these four monstrous, wolf-headed, seal-skinned, furry creatures with long, sharp nails. Can I get initiative from everybody in the party? Creatures, Neil, or not at all? It's the first time ever I see them or hear of them. No, Albert, you have been on a ship for most of your life. You have traveled around and seen many things. You know these things to be sea wolves. Do I know what they fear? Like, do they fear anything? They are monstrous, misshapen lycanthropes. They're relatives of werewolves in that sense. They chain shape between a this hybrid human humanoid seal wolf combination thing or an actual like seal body with a wolf head uh, they don't necessarily fear anything but they hate those that sail the seas and enjoy ripping them to shreds sinking their ships and looting their plunder okay. or plundering their loot <laughs> or looting their plunder whichever way you want to look at it Plundering and looting the things. That's the way to put it. Are they smart? Uh, they're roughly human intelligence. Okay. Uh, all right. Oops. Oh, uh, we should get the rolls up. Here we go. We got a D10 for Trump, for Maribel, for V, but not for Albert. Yeah, I'm looking at my cast spell. Okay. Damn it. Plus one was the goal. <laughs> So it's an 18 plus. Uh, it should be a D10. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I failed. Let's try it again. 10. <laughs> Fantastic. Are we for Ryan, or what do we do about him? Uh, why don't you roll his initiative as well? What's his initiative for attacking? Uh, I think he's a using weapon. a dagger that you gave him, so mm -hmm. two. I tell him not to leave my side. He doesn't need to be aggressive, just like be there with me fighting if needed. Sure. Okay, so um, the sea wolves, well, some of the sea wolves go first. What was your highest, lowest roll? Nine? Oh, man. Almost all of the sea wolves go first. Um, so the four start to crawl up the side. You guys are getting your weapons out, but before you can bring your weapons to bear against them, Four of them hop over the side of the ship. Uh, one of them still has enough action in it to launch itself at Anna. I mean, no. Yes. It brings its sharp claws and its gnashing teeth to bear against you. Uh, what is your armor class, Anna? I think it's fifteen. I always forget. Four. No. Hold. Uh. Uh. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen. It's. Ooh, it, it criticals Anna with its bite. Excellent. Ow! Uh, please roll me a saving throw versus death. Oh, man. And you take six points of damage. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, no, it is not. Okay, location. He bites you in the head somehow. I think it jumps up towards you and bites your face. Do I? I think I was all healed up before this session, right? I believe everyone was healed up before this yeah, session. I was. And I took six points of damage? You take six points of damage. Okay. Um, it actually bites, it leaps up and gouges out your throat. Your throat is ripped um, open. You're not dead. Ow. Uh, but it is bleeding badly. You can, you're reduced to two thirds movement and you have a penalty of four to all your attacks because how badly it's gashed open your throat. Ow. Ow, indeed. Um. Ha. Yes. Why ha? Why you ha me? Uh, you notice on the other side of the ship, 
another sea wolf has pulled itself over the side of the rail as well. So there's four on one side, one on the other. And let's go with Dark Albert. You have initiative of nine. Uh, as well I as Trump. Will... Both of you together. So Anna never attacked it, right? She just got attacked by me. Correct. Mean first Correct. One. I'm going to cast Smoot Spook on this dude. Okay. Spooky Spook, Spooky Dook Dook. Uh, so basically, what I do to do that is that I don't know what the. There's no like sexy movements for wizard. They just go like. Ugh. It's not like clerics, it's not fancy. So I guess that's what I do. I cast spook on the guy. So I go boo. Boo. Yeah, I'm like. Boo, 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 boo. Okay. So spook. Well, do you want to tell what people what spook does? Yeah, spook is if it goes through and doesn't get a saving thing, it should really, really scare the creature away. Uh, it does work on more than just humanoids. It says creature, so... And it is a humanoid creature, so I think it really should get affected. Uh, it should just run away and be completely terrified of me and kind of just leave. Yes. Hopefully it will scare his whole crew away, because he seems so terrified. Okay. So, if the creature fails, uh, a phantasm of its own mind chases it. It's, it appears before it. Whatever it fears most in the world appears before it and chases after it if it fails its saving throw, and which this creature does. It is terrified a weird seal bark slash wolf cry mixed together as it turns, leaps, and begins to shapeshift in air, but that gets an opportunity attack from Anna. Please roll to hit it. Whoop, whoop. Vengeance at minus four, plus back attack bonus. <laughs> yes. So minus four plus two. Uh, 13. So minus two. Yes. I, you don't have bonuses usually? Wait. What okay, I do. I have plus five to hit. So, so plus minus five, four minus is plus two. one to so plus three. Yes. Yeah. It's not that bad. No, 16. and you hit. Hooray! Why? So it will seem scared of you almost. <laughs> if you hit it so hard, it ran. Yeah. And these are these are normal sized creatures, right? Yes, they are. Not bad. Don't you get a bonus to that damage? Yep. Two. Okay. So eight. Uh, you wounded the creature. Yeah, get wounded. Get scared and wounded. Right. Um, yeah. It, it transforms midair into a bizarre half seal, half wolf looking thing. Hmm. Aw, it's cute. It's adorable. It's not cute. cute. It's they vicious were, yeah. and mean and it will kill you. It is not adorable. It has beady red eyes and and it has claws on the end of its flippers. Pet. Pet. <laughs> One of my favorite online writers, by the way, goes by the handle the Sea Wolf. Ooh. But it her name's Christina Wolfgram, and that's why. And I wonder if she knows that sea wolves exist. Hi, Christina. <laughs> uh, tr Trump, Temriel. Yeah. Your turn. In my uh, when it's usually traveling out in action, I just kind of push my hood back and I look at them. You've made a terrible mistake, the skeleton says. <laughs> um, also, I will go ahead and cast Repair Injury on uh, on Maribel, which Ooh. reduces the which which uh, eliminates that penalty and also heals. Yes, it does. Repair Injury will because your throat is technically injured. It's not broken, it's not damaged, it is injured, that is perfect. Great. And, whoa, that's the wrong... Oh wait, that's right. Okay. She gained 6 HP? Yes, and no more injury. Boom. It just kind of mends itself. Well. I reach out your shoulder. Okay. Another sea wolf pulls itself up from the other side of the dock uh, deck and makes its way in its hybrid form over towards Temriel. It 
reaches out with claws and gnashes with its teeth. Temriel, what is your armor class? 19. I'm sorry, can you say that again? 18. 18. 18? How'd you get such high AC? <laughs> 15 base, uh, two from armor, one from dex. What armor are you wearing? A shield. Plus ah, one. Okay, so nice. it's 15. The, the shield and the dex do not apply for back attacks, and it's come up from behind you. So 15 AC. Okay. That's, doesn't cr- It does critical you. It also criticals you with its bite. Yes. Love this. <laughs> Not yes, Neil. No. Not, why aren't you team? Well, team because players? because you guys normally destroy my and my monsters True. so badly that if they do anything successful at all, it's you know my heart goes fast. You take six damage and make a saving throw versus death. Actually, you take uh, half that. You take three damage because you are a skeleton and you are resistant to bi- uh, slashing and piercing damage. <laughs> All right, so, and uh, saving versus death is just d20, right? Yes, and you want to low equal to or lower than your number. Uh, equal that to or high. above. Yep, great. Yes. Perfect. Um, next in the initiative order. Who's next? Uh, uh, it is V. All right, uh, I shoot at the nearest. Uh, well, actually, one's wounded, so I like that to one's shoot gone. That one. He, oh, it's gone? Okay. He, he jumped ship. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then I'll shoot at the next one. Anyone that's kind of attacking somebody or starting to attack somebody. Go for it. All right. I shoot my bow. I roll initiative. Hit. Team. Perfect. Uh, roll me some damage. D8. Two. You minorly graze the sea wolf. It seems Aww. not very bothered. Dang um, it. All right. Your last two sea wolves pull themselves up over the side of the ship. One of them going after Trellis, which your armor class is? Uh, I think, well, I have 13, but I don't know if that's for my last level. So I think it's 14. Uh, AC does not go up with level. Okay. Just kidding. 13. <laughs> all right. Uh, you also get critical, this time by a claw instead of by a bite. Um, and you take four points of damage, and you need to make me a saving throw versus death. Okay, uh... It was amused. D20 plus... Nothing, just a D20. (laughs) Plus nothing! Ooh! (gasps) You critically failed your saving throw versus death. That increases the severity of the critical by... (laughs) A factor of one. So please roll another d20 Woo-hoo. and do not roll another one, whatever you do. Don't go down. Okay. Ah, oh. I'm, I'm saved. All right. Oh my gosh. That's still not very good for you. I've seen worse. I think someone rolled four ones once. Yeah, I remember that happening. I think it might have four been four ones. Or maybe it was Brian, or maybe it was both of you. I've definitely gone down the rabbit hole of death saves before. I've gone at least three rolls deep, I think. Yeah. I have bad dice. I think in the world of like cosmic dice luck, Ryan is the only one I know worse than me. Yeah, he's so unlucky. It's ridiculous. Everyone's like, it's not, there's no luck involved. It's just a random algorithm. I, I'm sure that Roll20 actually is a random algorithm. I just have cosmic unluckiness. <laughs> it is true. Um, Trellis, your spine is struck. You have oh, not the spine. You have oh. major bleeding. That is, every round you take one point of damage. You are reduced to two thirds of your normal movement, and you have a penalty of two on all of your attacks. Oh, um, like when I roll to attack, or my actual attack damage? Uh, no, just the roll to attack. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's check here. Minor bleeding, major bleeding. Results in a loss of D2 hit points per round. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, and the last sea wolf comes and makes a run for. I think it makes a run for Ryan. Yes, he does. No, not Ryan! <laughs> wow, that was in unison. 
<laughs> uh, or even sadder at Ryan than like at ourselves. <laughs> Ryan <laughs> Thank gets you, my poor baby. slashed across the chest for two points of damage. Jen, mark this down, please. Yeah. And Ryan gets. I think he gets double critical oh, with another no. slash. Oh. Yep, that's a good Honestly, proof. Yeah. I paid so much for this man's slave. Yeah. He takes four more damage from the double critical. It's only claws, it's not a bite. Okay. Uh, but he passes his save versus death, so he's okay. Yay! And it's Maribel's turn. He lives! He's at zero HP, he's not even bleeding out. It's beautiful. All right, he falls to the ground. The dagger in his hand tumbles to the side. He fell protecting you. Well, he was getting attacked, not me, but sure, Neil. He fell I... You are in between him and the sea wolf. If it hadn't been for him, it would have come after you. I'm like, like bleeding from the neck. Trump healed it. My throat's it. like, what? Trump healed it. Okay, I was just gonna run over to him for healing, but I guess that already happened. You were like, Not you. Uh, uh. He, he did that on his turn. Right, so I'm like, ha. Ah. <laughs> and instead, I attack the sea wolves with fervor. Do it. Oops, that was the wrong modifier. It should have been. It's okay, that's still a hit. Unless okay. you somehow rolled lower than a 14. I did not. Excellent. Wait, what? No, that's a what hit. That, that's okay. right. You normally roll a plus five, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a hit. Cool. D10 damage. Yeah. Plus Six two damage. damage. Plus two every time. Uh, you cut Eight. one of the sea wolves down before you. He flaps on the ground and then stops. Like a fish. Yes. Uh, Trellis, you would normally get a second attack with your bow, but this guy is right in front of your face, and you cannot get a shot off with him engaged. And that's the only one left? No, 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 no. There are five left. Seven left. Six left. I can't shoot in another one? Not with this guy. Like, if you try to notch an arrow, he'll just knock the bow out of your way. Oh, uh, okay. He's, he's meleeing you. Uh, so everybody, please roll initiative. There are six sea wolves. Is it right in front of me? Yes. Ah, crappity. Way to fuck up my genius magic. Hmm, let's see. I think it's the moment when the magic dagger comes into play, friends. Uh, can we get a, uh, a Temriel and an Albert initiative, please? Yeah. What's the attack speed on the magic dagger? Two. Okay. Ooh, Temriel. You're so fast. <laughs> uh, you go I first, go Temriel. Fast. Okay, I go over to the hold and I open it and then I raise my arms in a ritual oh, as nice. I cast Animate Dead. Um, nice. Animate Dead on the four skeletons in the hold and the one zombie of the person who just died. Okay, that is a full round spell. So it will go off at the end of the round. Um, okay. But that's cool. Make uh, sure none of them attack bait. I, no, never mind. Okay. I guess just close the door behind you. They won't follow. Oh, I'm still up on the ship. Yeah. Okay. Um, after that, V. Trellis. What do you do? Well, I'm still blocked, right? Yeah. If you're going to use your bow, you're still blocked. But if you switch to a different weapon, you'll be good. Okay, I'll switch to my Sapara then. And roll d20 plus. Mm, I take two, right? Two. A bonus? What's your... In, uh, what do we call it? What Your level four? I'm level five, so... So it should be a d20 plus four to hit. Yeah. Yeah. But I take off two, right, you said? Right, for the injury. Okay. You slash and miss with the Sapara. Uh, the sea wolf that is facing you attacks again, reaches out with its claws and its bite. And it move out of the way! Uh, armor class, I've already forgotten. Fourteen. Thirteen. Uh, that is a critical with a claw and a normal bite. So your bite is one point of damage. 
The claw critical is uh, three points of damage and another saving throw versus death. How bad could it be? Not uh, bad at all. You pass. You're totally good. Uh, I'm safe. And then I take one point of damage this turn anyways for poison. Oh, uh, D2. Two points of damage this round from the bleeding. Uh, the other sea well, another sea wolf goes after Maribel. Oh my god, Maribel. It criticals you again with its bite. Oh, we're gonna oh. die. Oh my god, the dice are unlucky tonight. I don't want to die. You take four damage from the bite and saving throw versus death. It's the moment where I scream out, tactical retreat to the captain's quarters. Good job, Maribel. On a save. Uh, you are muted, though. And uh, it was so close to being a one, is what I was saying. It was like one and then rolled over to the 19. <laughs> Wait, a saving throw is just a one of 19. It's, it's supposed to be roll a flat number and you want to roll over. She's rolling. Oops. Or die plus the number, so she would need a 21 or over to pass. It's same, same, but different. But in the future, just roll a flat d20. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Um, who was next in initiative? Uh, Maribel at 10. So no, two more sea wolves go. Mm. Um, Dark Albert, the one that just brought down Ryan, looks up from him. It's Ma still bloody with his life on it. It uh, launches itself at you. What is your armor class? Uh, 10. 14. What's your dexterity? Four. You, you, have, a de you have a dex, okay. I have 18 decks. I'm a wizard thief. All right. <laughs> it misses thief. all of its attacks against you as yeah! you matrix your way between the blows. Yay. This is when the thief comes in, Andy. This is why I'm in dual class to avoid mm -hmm. death sometimes. <laughs> okay. It's okay. We're just bleeding to death, me and Maribel. <laughs> yeah, uh, no big deal. Maribel, you go next. So what is my status now? Because I rolled well on that save. You're Did good. anything? You took okay. damage. Right, six damage, you said. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Roll the Two attacks this round. Awesome. And just to be certain, my my modifier to hit is plus five. There's nothing else affecting me right now, right? Right. Sixteen. Yeah. Die, see will scum. Yeah. Uh, well, that is enough to put it over the edge after the beating you gave it last round. Nice. Uh, the sea wolf crumples, and you can get your second attack now. Hit. And your friend, too. No one takes our ship or attacks Ryan. Six. Nice. Wait, plus two. <laughs> Both of those should have been plus two. Uh, so that is six and eight is 14 points of damage, right? I thought I already killed the first one, so this was a different one. This is a second one, right. Yeah. So you drop a second sea wolf to the ground. Uh, Dark Yay. Albert. Excellent. Another one for my collection. <laughs> <laughs> How much are left? Uh, there are five left. When do I get my second attack? Um, are you oh wait, never mind, never yeah. mind. I'm Sapara, just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there over. any way I can get a back attack on the dude in front of me? I know it no. sounds ridiculous, but I try. No. <laughs> is there any way I can attack it and move towards the place where- uh, You're engaged one-on-one, -on -one. You, you're, okay. you're engaged. I can't go towards Temriel after attacking. You can me. move your way towards Temriel, yeah, but it will follow you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I get that, but I want to someday get to the captain's quarter. Someday you can be in the captain's quarters. <laughs> it's like a slow, slow movement. All right, go for okay. it. Uh, so I'm attacking with my magical dagger. Roll it. That, uh, it's the one that V gave me, by the way. Uh, it's magic knife then, but yes. Yeah, oh, <laughs> magic knife. Okay, I'll specify. So. It makes a difference. They have uh, different cost, is... weights, and attack damages. Do I know how much damage it does? It does or D3 it damage. Do? Yeah. 
Okay, and the dagger does d4, right. correct? Yeah, it's magical. Let's try it. It's more fun. <laughs> we roll a hit. Uh, so it's d20 plus 5. 24. Uh, that is a double crit. Whoop, whoop. Uh, so I roll a d3. That might be more damage than it seems. So, uh, wait, it's a 2d3, right? Uh, no, you're going to roll 3d3 because you double crit it. 3d3 of magic. Six. <laughs> okay. Uh, magic six. And it makes a saving throw versus death, and it fails. Give me yeah. a, a d10 for location and a d6 yeah. for severity. Eight. Two. <laughs> All right, no effect. Ah. <laughs> you need higher than a three to effect on severity. Um, the last two sea wolves go. Do I get two attacks with the knife attack? Nope. That nope. Uh, the last two go. One of them makes for Maribel, bringing its claws against her. Maribel, you have 15 armor class? Yeah. Another critical on Maribel. What? What the <laughs> heck? Why? Because they have been rolling 18s, 19s, and 20s like candy. I I can't. You take eight damage as the teeth bite into you. Make me a saving throw versus death, Maribel. The dice are not with you today. Oh my god. It hits you in the s torso for no unusual effects. You said eight damage? Yes. And then the claw hits you for two. Cool. Good thing I have a lot of HP. Yes. Uh, and the last sea wolf. Um, the last sea wolf. The last sea wolf. I think everyone's engaged. I think the Sounds last like sea wolf thing. also goes after Maribel. What? what? <laughs> um, with all misses. Good. Let's roll Good initiative. Riddance. Poop wolves. That's mean. Why would you? Well, they critted me, so... Like, four times. <laughs> okay. What do we got? Uh, yeah. Temriel is going at 17. Oh, yeah, you've got skeletons now. They've ri risen and marched up to the top of the deck, awaiting your instructions. Excellent. Four skeletons and the two zombie sea wolves. Can you raise that many? I can raise up to my level. Get okay, it. The, the sea wolves are two hit dice, so you can only raise one of them, I think. Oh, but it, then you raise it two, as a as two, two hit skeletons. dice creature. Yeah. So two sea wolf zombies and three skeletons. Uh, can I get initiative rolls from the remainder of the party, please? Attack the living sea wolves, I command. So zombies have one more hit die than they did in real life. So if the sea wolves are two hit die, every sea wolf you summon is actually a three hit die creature and you are level seven? Yeah. So you're summoning two sea wolves and one skeleton, right? Uh, let's do one sea wolf and four skeletons then. Okay, cool. Oh, the fight is even. Ha 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 ha! ha says Dark Albert. <laughs> uh, wow, you guys are all really, really slow. Uh, the zombie sea wolves rise. Uh, Temriel, would you actually roll initiative for them, please? Sure. I'm just gonna roll 1d10. Yeah. Uh, one sea wolf and uh, four uh, skeletons again. Right. Okay. So your sea wolf, your sea wolves go at the same time as one of the other sea wolves who turns to its companion who has risen up from the ground. It raises its head and howls to the sky in an approving manner. Uh, and then it realizes that this this sea wolf has its head kind of like dangling by <laughs> some flesh 
from where Maribel's halberd hacked into it. Um, and the zombie sea wolf, I think it probably fights the same guy. They're yours to control. You can choose who they fight, but the the sea wolf goes after its own zombie kind. Unsure of what to really make of this. Um, slash, slash, and bite. And it bites and slashes your zombie. Uh, please roll 3d8 for your zombie's HP. Holy hell. <laughs> wow, that kind of sucked. That zombie yeah. sucks. <laughs> I'm new at this. Um, it's your zombie takes <laughs> five points Sorry. of damage. Yes. It lives. <laughs> uh, and your zombie sea wolf counters how? Uh, I've given the command of attack the living sea wolves. Okay. So, uh, please make us three attacks with the zombie sea wolf. Um, it fights at plus one to hit, and each attack, uh, the claw attacks do d2, and the bite attack does d4. Okay, uh, that was claw, claw, bite. Claw, so... claw, bite. Uh, so that is a hit with a bite and a hit with a claw. So a d4 and a d2. Great, four. Four damage total. Okay. And your skeletons go at the same time. Great, they pile on. Uh, skeletons each get one attack, so... And they're at plus zero to hit. Uh, wow! Uh, those are both... The 19 and the 18 are both crits. The 10 is a miss. Hmm. And I think skeletons do... I want to say, like, d6 damage? Skeleton does d6 damage. Alright. Uh, so that's... Uh, four D six. Four? Are, yeah, because the nineteen and eighteen are both crits. Oh right. Okay. Sweet. Oh. All right. So, ten. Ten damage. It renders the rem that sea wolf dead. Okay. Uh, all the other sea wolves see what's going on here, and their barks and cries are those of retreat as they flee into the water. Anna, Anna, you can get uh, an attack against one sea wolf. Trellis, you can get an attack against a sea wolf. And uh, uh, Albert, you can Albert. get an attack against a sea wolf. I explain I do that one. another body for me. Am I still blocked off by a sea wolf or no? Uh, the guy that you're fighting is turning to run, so you get a free attack with your Sapara against him. So it's a okay. back attack, correct? Yes, it is, at plus two. 21. Oh I crit God. failed, by the way. I had got a one. Bring it, Neil. Oh, Maribel, please roll me another saving throw versus death. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like oh, it's over. You've rolled more saving throws versus death than you've rolled successful attacks this round. Yep. <laughs> All right, you pass. Trellis, you hit. Albert, you hit. Roll some damages. Do I crit? Or no? Uh, no, no. Yeah. Do I? No. If you roll a natural 18 and you okay. clear by 5, it's a crit. If you roll less than a natural 18, you have to clear by 10 for it to be a crit. So it's a 3, but I get a times 3 multiplier no. for back attack because I'm a thief. I am a thief you are times a thief. 3 multiplier because level 5. Bam, bam, bam. All right, we'll roll... Roll 3D3? D 4d3. Uh, no, roll 3d3 damage. So it... Triple crit? No. No, just roll three d three damage. Okay. Let's not think about it too hard. Four plus right. magic. Plus magic. The sea wolf still escapes. Trellis yeah. warrior. Uh, uh, I had a question. The first number is for bigger creatures, right? For your damage, and the second one is for smaller creatures. All the way around. The first one's for smaller creatures. Okay. And these are considered small creatures. Correct? Yes. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Wonderful. The sea wolves escape, fleeing into the water, and you can hear them barking their way into the beneath the waves. I immediately act as if Ryan was bleeding out, and I put patches around him as if I just saved them. 
I also forgot, Trellis, you take another two points of bleeding this damage, uh, this round. So, when Ryan will wake up, he will think I saved them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm holding my back and I look over to Temriel and kind of ask him, is there anything you can do about this? Uh, tomorrow, yes. I'm afraid I have expended my uh, usage of the advanced healing magics. I mean, you can, you can bind her wounds, no, to stop the blood. Of course, I cannot cure you. I cannot repair that injury at the moment, but I can heal you, certainly. That would be fine for now. <laughs> it would be nice mm. if she didn't pass out from bleeding and died. I say with a smile. That would be nice. A, a little smile. Smile. Uh, for now, though, you should probably get that bound. Uh, I kind of look at Albert, who has been doing the binding, generally. Aren't you more qualified than me? I have no proficiency in this. I merely do my best. Ah, but you seem to have a good general idea of it. I, even though I may look, even though I am a cleric and I may look like a healer, I've always relied on my healing so I of my magical healing so I did not see the need. Oh okay I understand I'm probably better at this than you I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to bind her wounds Neil. Should I roll for this? Uh give me an intelligence check if you do not have a healing proficiency. I don't. Twenty fail <laughs> oh, uh you take like another one point of bleeding damage trellis Someone else is going to need to bind her wounds or she will bleed to death right here on the ship. <laughs> I will try my best. Intelligence check, Maribel. Can I bind uh, myself at this point? Uh, I'll let you go last if no one else can okay. do it. Uh, <laughs> during this entire thing, I will cast the desperation. Cure Light Wounds on her. <laughs> oh, the Cure Light Wounds heals the bleeding damage. Oh, I didn't realize that yeah, also worked. That, that'll work too. <laughs> um, and it'll also restore some HP, I think. I see. I thought it was an actual injury, but it was just bleeding. Yeah, it was just bleeding. Damage. Well, I'm bleeding, and don't I have a back injury? Or yes, no? you do have a back injury. Yeah, my spine. Yes. Uh, it was that injury I was talking about. Yeah. That had to be repaired to stop the bleeding, but just to heal well, it. Like, you probably right. have a bunch of, like, bandages dangling out from everywhere. Like, kind of <laughs> all this gauze is, like, wrapped all over me, you. Let me do this. Like, a little bit over your face. Kind of in your okay, so how much do I heal for then? Uh, for two. For two health? Okay. Uh, and you will need a repair okay. injury spell, otherwise your penalty of two to attack will last for... Uh, eight days. <laughs> well, he's going to repair me tomorrow, so that's yeah. okay, right? Yeah, I think he'll be fine because he'll repair you tomorrow. All right. What happens mm. with the skeletons? They are there until I get rid of them. Nice. Not forever. Sexy. Uh, so, Trump, now is the time where you're going to want to make a little sheet for your monsters. Yeah. Um, your sea wolf is at, I think, what is it, one out of six hit points? Yep. And your skeletons are each have D8 hit points. Okay. Um, I'll give you their full stats because you will be commanding them in combat. Yeah, I. Is it possible to dismiss just one of them? Uh, you can break them, if you can destroy them at will. Well, not at will. Like you can just walk up and, you know, bash them to death until they're gone. Yeah. Uh, after that, see, I kind of look at that sea wolf, uh, unimpressed with my creation. I raise my mace to it and I smack it. You destroy the sea wolf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's the another one you can raise if you. But he's so cute. Yeah. I can re-raise the same one, right? No, it's been destroyed. Oh, okay. There are other sea wolf corpses that you could raise, though. So if the skeletons are broken, you can't just re-raise the bones. Correct. Can I dismiss them so that they fall back to bones and then raise them up later? No, you cannot <laughs> min-max their HP. No. Oh, it's more of I wanted to summon them whenever they wanted to, uh, instead of okay. having them be around all the time. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Well, like then we'll keep can, those like, in the hold. Them. Yeah, you can store them in the hold and be like, come on, Pip. You're trying to be a death knight, are you? <laughs> okay. um, 
you spend a few more days. Oh, I have a question. So, yes. like, do they have personalities? No. No. Can we interact with them? Yes. Can I try to pet the one? You may. I try. Uh, I command the skeletons to just kind of these. These are our friends. You do not hurt them. <laughs> They are like mindless they, servants. They will do what you command. Mm-hmm. I guess they just don't care. Yeah. Uh, sit in the hold. They sit in the <laughs> hold. Nice. Can you make them dense? I could. Nice. <laughs> that would be entertaining. <laughs> it would be. All right, so I guess I spend another couple of days studying my spells and waiting for Ryan to wake up and tell him I saved him. And try to heal me, right? The next day? Yeah. Uh, if it's going to be a few days, then all It'll of you can... It'll be another two days before you get to somewhere near Pine Spur. Great. Well, then, uh, on this day, I expend enough healing that you're all healed. Uh, are we sure that you've got enough? Anna took a lot of damage. And Ryan... Okay, let me double check, then. <laughs> so... I still have 25 left. Okay, um, I match? have a first level 47. Spell Horizon, uh, which heals for one uh, every minute, and there are nine charges each one. So okay. I'm going to heal for 27 over 27 minutes. Okay, so Anna, you heal 27 damage? I only need 22. Okay, so that right. leaves... 22, and then I go uh, Trellis for five. No, Trellis for four and Ryan for one. Ryan has eight, he's eight HP down. Okay. Uh, all right, so that trellis is down how much now? Uh, I was at 27. So, let's see. How much did you say you healed me for? Four? Four. Right, so I'm down seven still. Okay. You and Ryan are both down seven. Uh, Albert is at full, Maribel's at full, Tevmeril's at full. Okay, I give Ryan and uh, Trellis a cure moderate apiece then. Let's see. Which is 1d10 plus 1. Uh, this one's Ryan and this one's Trellis. So Ryan gets 7 and Trellis gets 11. Alright, everyone is at full. Uh, so You're an accomplished healer. Of course, it is a captain's duty to keep his crew in fighting shape. Would you please take a look at the map, everybody? This is Pine Spur, which is located on Gade Isle. Um, Pine Spur is clearly landlocked in the middle of the forest next to the spring. Uh, the well, really, Volcus Lake. So, where is it that you would like to stop? Because you're going to have to dock your ship at one of the villages on this coastline somewhere. There are sure. villages over here, and there are villages along this coast, and there are villages along this coast. Couldn't we also, like, up here. kind of just get close to shore and then box up our ship? You could. You could get close, box it up, and then carry it inland. But I want to know where you guys are going to land uh, to go inland from. We what could be stealthy and box it up. I see. Perhaps we should... Uh... Do we have any idea where we're trying to reach? Pine Spur. To go... Well, I don't know. What is your... What are you guys doing? Because you've been trying to get here, and now that you're approaching, what is your objective? You're, you're approaching from the west... What are you guys doing? The simplest solution is the best. We kill Barthus. And Barthus is in Pinespur, for sure. So let's then just head through the forest from the west, starting like here. I'd like to say, Neil, that meanwhile during our trip, uh, I had kept a large chest for a reason, and now that I do have wizard luck to complete my master plan, Dark Albert has put all of his belonging inside his chest and has wizard locked it. It is wizard locked. Boom. 
We also sure. could, uh, this small Theridin's rock we could use to store our ship and such if there's no one on it. Oh, our ship is stored in a box. That's even. I know. But we can't, car- can we carry that around easily? It's awkward. It's like a foot and a half by a foot by a foot. You know, it's like a big box that you just haul around with you. It looks really weird to just carry an empty box. Mm-hmm. Uh, but technically, you could carry it. Just like you it could walk around all day with valuable. shoes on your head if you wanted to. It is an extremely valuable box. It comes with us. We could put okay. the box inside another box or inside something that makes it seem like it has a reason to be. Okay. Like a throne for me. <laughs> so... Uh, before we end for today, because we're approaching the end here, uh, let's decide what you guys are at least thinking about doing next week. What are you guys thinking right now about doing? What What is the plan, huh? We're searching for Barthus. That's the only thing I know of. And right. then we kill him, right? And as a recap for the people who recently showed up, why are you guys looking for Barthus? Because he's trying to become a uh, dragon. <laughs> He's trying to become a dragon and he moved our island and he took bird. He took bird. He took your island and he wants to become a dragon and last and, year he was spotted in Pine Spur. And he killed the master of Saffron. He killed Saffron. Well, disappeared Saffron's master. Allegedly and, killed her. Yeah, and he moved our island and he was the cause of the portal's appearance and I'm very curious about that. And the portals caused the storms, which destroyed most of your town and all these yeah. other things. Yes. Right. We could uh, also. I think it is. We. S- I asked the old party. You sailed east from Pine Spur, right? Is that where the island would have ended up? Yes, no. I guess Neil would know. Saffron yes. says yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, then, we may want to look east of Pine, east of this island to see if your island is there, which is where this Barthus may be. Hmm. And I believe we should step in the city to buy Ryan some equipment. Hmm. Looking at Ryan. We may have no time for that. We've already wasted one day trying to pawn off an old ship. Successfully pawn, why they uh, hmm. Very successfully. So much so that everyone should add exactly 812.5 gold to their tag. Uh-uh. Add it in silver. If you're going to keep it on your character, add it in silver. Because every fi- every 20 coins weighs a pound. Yeah. So it's impractical to carry that shit around with you. Yeah. It's why we can keep it on the ship in the treasure chest. Yes. Yeah. We'll, save, uh, we'll save the chest with the 30, 32,000 silver. 32.5. Except I moved my share into my own chest, which I wizard locked. Okay. But you guys don't know it's wizard locked, but it is. I'm excited about it. Okay. It also contains, by the way, uh, all the secret documents I stole. <laughs> and all the shit that would prove me guilty of being a bad party member. <laughs> the same, you know. Okay. Well then, so I-, I can list all of it for you if it needs <laughs> That's fine. And I think that is where we're going to wrap up for the day today. So, congratulations to our party for surviving the dangerous Woo! sea wolves. And yeah. congratulations to the sea wolves for their unusual number of 18, 19s, and 20s. Because every round they got at least two. Um, and a couple of criticals. So, good job, sea wolves. Hmm. Someone in chat should applaud with me, I hope. XP! Uh, Yes, everyone gets 1,500 experience today. Or, but there's also last episode's XP. Uh, right. So let's make everyone gets 2,100 today. 2,100. 2,100. You said 2,000? 2,100. Does that, is that for last time as well? Yes, it is. That includes Sea Wolf XP, that includes the Pirate XP from last time, that includes. What else did you do last time? There was some other battle that you did, I can't remember right now. It includes selling the ship. Um, oh, yeah, what did we get, Jen, uh, for our silver pieces? We split it, right? 
Yeah, it's uh, 812.5 gold each. In yep. Silver. And though you split it, uh, there is all of our silver coins are in a chest in the ship still. Yeah. So it's just theoretically that we have yes. that. Yes. So please mark the 8,125 in a separate place so that we know it's in the treasure chest and not on your character. Um, but that's it for this week. Well, I'm going to start off shout outs and then we'll go around the table. So, um, my name's Neil, also known as Koibu. I do D&D planning or D&D related things pretty much every day on my stream, twitch.tv slash Koibu. I've got nothing new coming up other than a new campaign, which will be uh, made up of players from chat. There'll be an audition. Uh, there'll be applications and then auditions, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but tomorrow at noon Pacific time, we are doing Dicing with Death. That is a one-on-one -on -one D and D show with my friend from childhood, my best friend and the best man at my wedding, uh, Ryan. After which I have modeled your slave Ryan, <laughs> um, and that's going to be super fun and interesting. He is a high-level wizard doing a solo quest, and he has turned very dark and very evil. He is, is not he fun. Dark as dark as Albert. He is darker than Dark Albert. He has. Uh, broken into people's houses at night and sucked their souls from them just to power his magical amulet. If I could do that, I would, Neil. I just don't have the amulet yet. Well, maybe you should go find Georg and kill him and take his amulet. Hmm. Good luck. Uh, but, Jen, it's your turn for some shoutouts there. Once again, that was super fun. I'm super eager to see the next things. I'm a little bit sad we sold, sold the sh we sold the ship because I would have loved to have a fleet, and perhaps be the captain of the second ship. Uh, <laughs> but uh, thank you so much, everyone. It was a lot of fun. I enjoy everyone's character and all the little character art that Neil does, too, especially the gnome. He gets my favorite of the day. All right, Trump. VIP. I would like to shout out you guys, the audience, because you're the true MVP for watching. Anna. Uh, also, shout out to Neil and to Jen for holding on to the pirate dream long enough to make it true. <laughs> uh, I'm going on vacation this weekend, so I might be kind of quiet. I know. Vacation, like real life vacation. Like a real vacation? Like real Z's, live Z's vacation. And oh actually. God. It's a huge surprise. You guys want to hear where I'm going? So uh, I'm taking my mom. It was her Mother's Day present. I told her I wanted to take her on a beach trip, like a mother-daughter beach trip. And we always go to the Oregon coast because we're from Oregon. It's really pretty. So she just assumed I meant the Oregon coast. But actually, I'm taking her to Prince Edward Island in Canada, which is where Anne of Green Gables uh, like took yeah. place and where it was written and stuff, which wow. was the childhood book she used to read me. So she doesn't know she's getting on an airplane on Thursday. She That's thinks we're so just going cool. to the beach. But don't tell her. Shh. Aww. Wow. I'm excited. Yeah. Good plan. And it's like super just secluded and peaceful and quiet. So I'm just going to read and write. And yeah, I'm very excited. So nothing. I'm not even going to be on Twitch Weekly. So I won't even be back till next Tuesday for shows. So wow. <laughs> enjoy that vacation. Shut Thank off your phone. <laughs> I think your, I will. Yeah. You deserve a break. Thank yeah. you. Um, last but not least, Trellis. Uh, I'm Dika Lafoie. I stream here on Twitch. That's where you can find me on Twitter, anywhere else. Uh, at me, Parlafoie, and I will be streaming this week. That's all. Coolio. That's it, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.